There are a lot of ways for the imaginative type to think of planets and potentially even life around other stars. All right, so we got normal sun-like stars, blah, that's super boring. There's also planets around binary stars or planets around red giants or planets around pulsars or white dwarfs. I think perhaps the most extreme, most level 10 awesome scenario for potentially habitable worlds. Now, this is what I'm about to describe is purely theoretical. We have made no observations, but it's an idea and it's an interesting idea. And that is a habitable planet around a black hole. A habitable planet around a black hole. In order to make something habitable, what do you need? You need enough warmth to make ice turn into liquid water. You need enough heat, but not too much because you don't want all that water to evaporate. You want it to stay liquid. So there's a very narrow range of temperatures where that can happen. In our own solar system, it happens at this orbit of Earth. So that's how we get liquid water on the Earth. Too close to the sun, it boils off. Too far, it freezes. Another thing you need, especially for life, is if you're getting a lot of heat, you need a place to put that heat. You need a heat sink so that you can have differences in temperature. Differences in temperature allow you to have life, allow you to do work, allow you to have uh, chemical reactions and put so this A setup like this allows you to absorb heat from one place, do useful things, and then dump your heat somewhere else. Because if you can't dump your heat somewhere else, the heat inside the system just builds and builds and builds. What happens on the Earth is we get heat from the sun. The sun is a very localized source on the sky. It is relatively small. So we get a lot of heat from that spot. And then we use it for life and whatnot. And then we give off radiation into the blackness of space in all other directions. So the earth is glowing. The earth itself is warm. It is emitting infrared light. With just those two conditions, just the right temperature and a place to put your waste heat, it is possible to construct a potentially habitable world around a black hole. It has to be a supermassive black hole because you need a lot of gravity in order to get this trick to work. What happens around a supermassive black hole is because of all that intense gravity. That intense gravity as light itself falls towards the black hole, it's like falling downhill into a bottomless pit. And as things fall down, they gather more and more energy. So what happens as the light falls into a black hole, it blue shifts, it shifts to higher frequencies. And we are sitting in a bath of low energy light. We call it the cosmic microwave background. It is light left over from when the universe was just 380,000 years old. This light is in the microwaves. It's at a temperature of just above 3 Kelvin or just above 3 or just at 3 Kelvin, just 3 degrees above absolute. You get my point. That light is very, very useless, but as it approaches a black hole, as it approaches a giant big black hole, it gets blue shifted all the way up through the microwaves, through the infrared, through the reds and blues and ultraviolet, uh, all the way down as it's falling into the black hole. And there's a very narrow region surrounding the black holes, a thin band around the black holes, where this cosmic microwave background getting blue shifted because of the gravity gravity blue shifted because it's streaming towards that black hole hits just the right amount of energy to provide potentially liquid water. But you need a place to put that heat. This cosmic microwave background surrounds us on all sides. So once we use that energy to do something, we've got some waste energy, some waste heat, we need to put it somewhere. Otherwise, we're going to cook ourselves to death. And that's where the black hole itself comes in handy. Because of the uh, extreme rotation around a black hole, black holes are spinning, the environments around them are spinning. This actually focuses and redirects where beams of light comes from. It's so cool. It's called relativistic beaming. It actually takes the entire cosmic microwave background, the entire sky surrounding you on all sides, and focuses it onto a small disk ahead of you, almost like a sun. And then the black hole itself 
looms and fills a huge chunk of the sky more than it should given your distance because of the extreme bending of gravity you get to see more of the surface of the black hole than you normally would so if you're on a planet orbiting very very close to the event horizon of a supermassive black hole the cosmic microwave background will be focused into a disk on your sky the energies coming out of that disk will be hot enough to liquefy water and then on the opposite end of your sky, there will be a giant black void, which is the black hole itself, where you can send all your waste heat safely. And so you have the temperature differences, you have everything you need for life. Minor technical challenge. As you get close to giant black holes like this, if you want to stay in orbit, you have to go fast for this range to get just the right temperature, right, just the right structure to make a potentially habitable world, the planet has to be going at like 99% the speed of light. But if you figure that out, then you're golden. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Go to patreon.com slash to help support the show. And I'll see you next week.